Hello everyone, welcome to EasyMed. Our topic for today is Physiology and Regulation of Gastric Acid Secretion. So, let's get started. Stomach is a primary digestive organ consisting of three types of glands, namely gastric or auxentic glands, pyloric glands, and surface mucus cells. Auxentic glands have different types of cells. Mucus neck cells producing mucus, auxentic or parietal cells secreting hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor, peptic or chief cells secreting large quantities of pepsinogen, and finally the enterochromaffin-like cells or ECL cells that produce histamine. Next we have pyloric glands producing mucus and gastrin hormone, and finally the surface mucus cells producing viscid mucus and coating the entire stomach mucosa. Gastric acid mainly comprises of hydrochloric acid, which is released along with intrinsic factor by auxentic cells of auxentic glands. Hydrochloric acid is important because it activates protein digesting enzymes, kills ingested bacteria, helps in iron absorption, and stimulates bile and pancreatic juice secretion. So, you may ask how is HCl actually secreted into gastric lumen? Here's how. Sodium ion brought in from canaliculi is transferred to interstitial fluid in exchange for potassium ion through Na plus K plus ATPase on the basolateral side of parietal cell. This potassium brought in is transferred to lumen of canaliculi through potassium channels on the luminal side of the parietal cell. Hydrogen ion dissociated from water in parietal cell is exchanged with potassium ion by active primary transport through hydrogen potassium ATPase on the luminal side of the parietal cell. In this way, for Na plus reabsorbed into cell cytoplasm, H plus ion take their place in lumen and thus maintain the electrical gradient. Hydroxyl ion from water dissociation combines with carbon dioxide in cell to form bicarbonate ion which is exchanged for chloride ion through bicarbonate chloride exchanger at the basolateral side of parietal cell. So, for each H plus ion released into lumen, bicarbonate ion is diffused into blood such that the gastric venous blood has higher pH. This chloride obtained from exchanger and through chloride channel is released to the lumen through chloride channels at the luminal side. Therefore, HCl is released into the branched canaliculi, then the secretory end of parietal cell, and then finally to the gastric lumen. The backlink of HCl is prevented by alkaline mucus barriers and tight junctions between the epithelial cells. Now, what are the factors affecting the gastric acid secretion? First, histamine is the most potent stimulus for the parietal cells to release HCl by the stimulation of hydrogen potassium ATPase pump. Second, G cells or gastrin cells of pyloric glands near antrum of the stomach releases gastrin hormone that facilitates HCl release by two processes. One, it stimulates the enterochromaffin like cells to release histamine. Another, it can directly stimulate the parietal cells. Third is acetylcholine which can directly stimulate release of histamine and gastrin and can inhibit release of somatostatin from D cells. The distension of stomach and products of protein digestion stimulate while somatostatin from D cells, secretin, gastrin inhibitory protein and glucagon inhibits the release of acid. And high acid content inhibits G cell and stimulates H cell for secretin release. Now let's move on to phases of gastric acid secretion. Cephalic phase accounting for 30% of acid release is when acid releases even before food reaches the stomach. Sight, smell, taste, chewing, thought of food or swallowing of food is perceived by cerebral cortex or appetite center of amygdala and hypothalamus and thus vagus signal is sent to G-cells and parietal cells stimulating the release of hydrochloric acid. Next, gastric phase accounts for 60% of gastric acid release. After food enters the stomach, the protein fragments, distension, etc. acts as stimulus and parietal cells are stimulated by long vagovagal reflexes, local enteric plexuses, 
or gastric mechanism in order to produce hydrochloric acid. Next and the final phase is the intestinal phase accounting for only 10%. It stimulates the gastric acid secretion only in the initial phase but later inhibits the acid release. In this way, there are three phases of gastric acid release which is affected by various factors. Thank you so much guys for staying with us till the end. If you were of any help, support us and like, comment and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you again.